thumbnail. We got a 2008 Ford F-150. If you guys need to replace the starter, this is the starter we're using. Uh, this is the 5.4 liter Triton. Um, and pretty much it's the same for uh, Ford F-150. This is the brand of the starter I'm using. Remy, there's a part number there. Lifetime warranty, that's what they give me. Uh, it's the same thing for Lincoln, Mercury's, and uh, even uh, Suburbans. Similar. It might be a little bit different setup, but... It's all about the same, it's, it's about the similar process, similar, similar location. All right, so to begin to change your bat, uh, starter, you always, always, always want to disconnect your battery, okay? So this doesn't look so good, but we're going to disconnect this baby. Uh, that way there's no power down below. So uh, that's the first thing you want to do, okay? Uh, what are we going to do here is uh, we're going to take off the negative side, so everything is pretty much dead. It's your choice. You want to take a positive or negative? Uh, I'm gonna take off the negative because this thing doesn't look so good here. I do not want to mess with it. So once you take off this negative, uh, the whole vehicle should not have any power anywhere. If the grind is off, even if you want to take them both off, you can take them both off. But as long as you take one off, you're good. Anyways, uh, this is uh, eight millimeter. So we're going to go through uh, tools as we go through the video. At the end of the video, I will show you all the tools that I use. Sometime uh, you want to do something and uh, it turns out you need extra tools. Anyways, let's get this job going. Here's our starter. This is on the passenger side. This is the front passenger wheel over here. Hold it on here. Uh, so pretty much, let's take a look. This is the passenger side front wheel. So we got, we got a bolt here. We got a one bolt, uh, we can probably just see one bolt so far we see, that's the one right here, held in the background. And then if we come through this side, we got one more bolt sitting right there, okay, up there, and uh, looks like a 13. And then we got one more up on the top, which we can't see from here. Well, you might be able to see, just feel it. So that's going to be uh, all feeling stuff right there. But what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by removing uh, our cables first. Okay, so we're going to need a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter to get both of these cables out of the way. I went and got me some tools, which are not going to work and fit here. And uh, let's see how I feel about this. Then I'll just switch up my tools. This is a gear wrench. So gear wrench is not going to work. I am going to have to go get some kind of... Uh, okay, gear wrench might work, but I might not have that kind of flexibility. But I'm going to go switch up my tools. Okay, I well, got some tools. Uh, got something else this time. And there's not enough clearance over here for the camera and everything. But I'm going to try to manage. So this is a 13 millimeter with a quarter inch dry ratchet. And the head just bends backward sideways and let's see if we can take off this this cable is hot and usually so power all times in this cable and make sure that's why you need to take off that uh, battery cable off because it's a live power down here and you don't want to short circuit anything so once this is out once this bolt is out this cable should come off, but it might not move till the second one comes out because they are pretty much holding up each other since they're not there. But I'll see if I can get it off, but I'm going to try to knock off that 10 millimeter right next to it. So we, you're not touching this one right here, but this one got to go. This is the control cable right here. So when you press start, turn your key to start, this is what shoots power and activates the solenoid let's see if I can get this guy to go on without a second hand but that's never gonna hurt, happen I don't even know if this is number 10 this might be number 11 if 10 doesn't fit on it it's a number 11 so I'm gonna have to go get a number 11 
Uh, that will work. So I guess it's not a number 10 or it just corroded. Anyways, let me go get it. Number 11. 10 doesn't fit. Okay, I still think that's a number 10, but 10 doesn't fit on it. So what I got me a number 11. Okay, 11 is definitely big, but are we going to give it a try? Nope, it's got to be number 10. I was correct to begin with, but I don't know why this is going. It might be like that. Rust is on it. So that's what it is. I'm going to give it another try. All right, I might just need a deeper socket. I'm not sure what's going on in here. Yeah, I think that's what it is. A deeper socket might do it. Ah, come on. So what I'm going to do here is... Let's see if the socket fits first. Socket doesn't want to go on. I know for a fact it's not a number 11. Okay, that corrosion got me. That corrosion got me today. Let's see if I can manage something here. Yeah. Not in your turn. Pretty free. Okay, come on. There you go. The number 10 is out. Now, both of these cables should just come out. These cables look pretty good. Usually they get corroded over time, but they look fine. I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take off the nut here. Hopefully the camera can see there's a nut on there. So it's holding these ground cables in. Uh, very important to put them in, but I'm not going to take off the bolt. That bolt is going to be the last one. I'm going to take off both top bolts from right here, and then I will show you once they're off. So I got the top bolt loose, it's almost out. I used a quarter inch uh, swivel with about five inch long extension, a reducer, a three inch to drive ratchet. And I'm gonna put this back in, let me just take it off the ratchet here so you guys can see. But anyway, you know what? Uh, you can even fish it from all the way over here, from back here. But uh, while I'm down here, I just like to relax and chill. And right from back over here, you should be able to feel that bolt and get that baby out of there right there, just like that. It's already loose. Uh, I'm going to use switch up hands. And the nut should just, uh, the bolt, not the nut, the bolt should just fall right in my hand or just fall down on my chest. Okay, there it is. So this is going to be the last one I want to put in. And uh, the reason is because the bottom ones are going to hold on to me or hold on to the starter for me. So the next one I want to take out is the same way I am going to take my uh, swivel here and a ratchet and I'm going to get on top of this little guy right here. Okay, so everything is going to be bothering me. That's why I just want to, uh, I don't want to, a uh, camera is going to disturb me here a bit. But same procedure, same procedure here. You see this, how I'm fishing this guy? And once I have it right on the neck, 
On this one, I might not even need a swivel. Yeah, I don't need a swivel here. I can even put a 13 millimeter straight to it. But I'm going to get this baby from right here, just like that. You see that? Right on it. And I'm going to get this guy off. And once the starter is ready to come out, I'm going to take off the nut here and the bolt here. Once I have everything loose, we'll bring down the starter together. Okay, guys? But this nut is loose. And uh, let's see if you get better lighting. There you go. Uh, got this guy off. And then all we got is one in the bottom left. Nut and bolt. There's two. They're all the same bolt except the bottom one is different. So let me get this off. You can probably go down on your extension now. And get this baby off. Let's see. It's a 13 also. So they're all 13. That's common on Fords and Chevys. So. Okay, so I switched up the side of my camera because I can pretty much do it all from right here now. And I'm gonna go down a bit on the extension. And pretty much to make it easy, you put this baby on. And then you're gonna have to hold it with one hand. That's why it was difficult to start uh, with the camera in my hand. There you go, we got this off. So this is the last one, that's why I said you take off this last because it's gonna hold the starter in place and it's much, much easier to take off this guy last than uh, taking off the other ones before this one. So very important you put this grind back in when we're all done. Let's see. Okay, that's not gonna work. So you need a deep socket or we'll just use a, let's see if my ratchet, a gear wrench fits in here. Gear wrench fits. Okay, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. There's no clearance behind the starter. So I'm gonna go get a deeper socket. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. At the end of the video, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys all the tools. So when I got this the deep 13 with uh, about two inch long extension, the extension does have a curve to it. You will see this extension at the end of the video. Uh, deep socket. Same ratchet we're using, uh, three inch drive. So now the starter is gonna try to fall on you. So what you need to do is be ready and keep your hands on it. That's why this is gonna make it more difficult for this bolt to come out because the starter is gonna try to lean on it. And uh, we're gonna put this bolt in first. So the reverse procedure, we're gonna put the easy one in first and the hard one last because that's how this is going to be, because the easy one's going to support everything for us. And let's push this cable out of the way. And here it goes nothing. I should be able to take it off by hand by now, but uh, if you want to keep it going with the ratchet, but you're going to have to uh, see this is going to put a force on. So even power tools would be a good idea right here. But we're gonna do it good old without power tools today. Pretty long bolt. And it's all out. Almost probably like one more thread. It's just wiggling there. So I want the starter to hit me in the face. It should be all out. Okay, there you go. Let's see how this baby feels about coming down. Okay, let's see if I can take over the nut first. There you go. This is what it looked like. And from right here, the starter is going to come all down on you right there, just like that. Very simple and easy. Okay, same starter. Make sure you compare the starter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and compare the two starters. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so you always want to compare the, the depth here and the depth here, the teeth, okay, the gears. Everything has to be same. So this is the starter. I know it's the same thing. Uh, pretty much just a bada bing, bada boom job. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave uh, these that are, you know what, let's take off these right now. 
and I'm gonna leave them out here once I have everything in together I'll come back for these and they might be a different number now okay that looked like yeah 10 and 13 I think it's the same thing but anyways let's take this baby back in the car in the truck and put it in so that's what it is there you go my camera's looking good um what we're gonna do is let me grab I need to find that bolt make sure you have that bolt ready in your hand because that's gonna go in first now so try to position the starter the way it's gonna go in and make sure none of the wires get pinched in there you don't want it take this guy apart just because one of the wires got caught so again what I like to do is I like to put two bolts in together first the easy ones and then once the whole job is done have the third one in there ready to go but don't tighten it because sometimes it could be a bad starter and you never know you never know okay it could be a starter that uh, has a different gears it could be anything okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture the threads on this guy first and hopefully my camera can see it okay once we capture a few threads we need to worry about nothing else once we capture a few threads, we should be able to bring our tools in and start putting this baby together. Okay, I think I got some in there, but I think, I don't think it's all the in yet. Okay, the bolt is, I don't even want to move by hand. There you go. I got a few threads in. Leave it there and I'm gonna go get my tool. I am gonna start cranking this baby in with the proper tools. So this is an 18 foot pound. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys the torque specs at the end of the video so you guys can get the procedure right. So, and I'm going to show you the tools once the job is completed and make sure you put the battery together, make sure everything goes in together. And if you want to do it by hand, you can do it by hand. A lot of people want torque specs. So at the end of the video, I am, I am going to just snug these for now. And okay, so I'm going to leave this video right here. Cause I still need a little bit of, I might go back a bit because sometimes you need to move around to capture the alignment of the other bolts. So that's what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my second bolt here, stick it in, capture the threads and I'm going to get it all the way in. Okay. So remember the ground goes over here with the nut and make sure you torque it first and then put the nut on and then torque the nut if you need to, if you want to, if that's the way you want it. Some people just want everything perfect. And this guy's in. What I'm gonna do is at the same time, I'm not gonna tighten it yet, cause, uh, but I do wanna put the third bolt in. That way once everything is tight, at least I know the third bolt is gonna be aligned. So this is the third bolt. Third bolt is going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm sure you guys can get it from right here, just like me. Just going to have to feel, feel, touch and feel, and see where the bolt goes. And I think, okay, I don't got it. I got it in the wrong spot. It's way off. Where are you? There you are. Just that spot. So anyways, this third one is gonna give me difficulty. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the third one in there as well. Right here. Okay, there you go. A couple of threads. So I do wanna put my tool on. But anyway, guys, this uh, little one goes right here. The big one goes right there, and the ground goes right there, and the nut goes on top of the ground, and you're all done. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there, just like that for now. 
and then we'll continue up on the top. Putting the bag in and cranking the car. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna torque everything, then I'm gonna uh, put this uh, ground cable in, put the nut on, tighten everything up, crank it, start it, check it, and uh, you get the point, okay? Check the starter before you go crazy with the third bolt, because it's not gonna matter, because two can hold pretty good, and then do make sure you put the third one in. Bye bye, and we'll see you upstairs. Here's what it looked like when everything is done. I tightened up all the bolts for the heck of it, and I'm gonna give you guys the torque specs. Uh, you're gonna get torque wrench as well. That's one of the tools I did not show. So everything is done. All the bolts are locked in, and uh, like I said, check your starter first before you uh, finish up the job. Anyways, it's all done, and. Uh, Put on the battery back together and start up the car, it should crank up. So here we are with the tools. We got the long ratchet, 13 millimeter, uh, 11 we didn't use, 10 millimeter, uh, 3 inch driver ratchet, 2 inch extension and a deep 13, 8 millimeter gear wrench, 10 millimeter wrench that I didn't use. Showed you this tool right here. Everything's right there, okay? 13 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. We're all done. Okay, we're all done and Sometimes when you put this cable on, your alarm might go on. So make sure. And I'm gonna tap this a bit with something. I gotta tap it. I'm gonna have to use my. Just want this to be down as much as possible. Okay. So that's that. Lock this baby up. So this is the first step. Okay. Disconnect your battery. So there's no power on those cables down there. It's not gonna shock you, it's just that if you touch it to the body, it's gonna short circuit. Like I said, it's a live power down there. So all walls not gonna hurt you, but it's gonna hurt the system. Anyways, we're all done. We're gonna go inside the truck after I take off my gloves, clean my hands, and I'm gonna crank it up. So here goes nothing. We're gonna crank this baby up. The first crank, you might hear some type of grinding noise or starter gear, and uh, Long as you don't hear anything crazy, like something rubbing, like the uh, the teeth or gears are just rubbing and they're gonna break the flywheel, you don't want that. That's the issue with the Ford's long start, math sensor, vacuum leak. Anyways, it works, we're good. Thank you for watching, guys. That was a good start. Now I'm gonna give you guys a torque specs. Uh, so. Here's our torque specs. You got 18 foot pound, 18 foot pound, and where's the third bolt? Right here, 18 foot pound. So three bolts are 18 foot pound. Um, this nut behind the ground is a uh, 15 foot pound. You got this uh, 13 uh, here. You have uh, what do we have here? 12 foot pound and. Uh, 53 foot pound that's a lot for that little guy uh inch okay this is inches okay this is foot pound and this is 53 inches that's a lot less okay anyways that's everything a little bit more information so this uh, 53 foot uh inches is the the small 10 millimeter nut which is a uh, control cable but anyways as you can see the three balls that we took off, one is right here, one is right there, and this is the hardest one up here, which I had to fish out. And from up here, if you put something from the top right here, real wall, you should be able to get that easily, but same thing, okay? A little bit of struggle, and you will get it out. 